again. So I have been journaling in a B6 MD notebook and I purchased the Bonkuhen Superior Labor Folio. I have really been wanting to try a B6 Slim Chic Sparrow. And this lovely person on Instagram was selling some of their old covers and I managed to snag this B6 Slim Buttered Rum Tien. She also included some goodies for me. Now she also purchased this off of a buy sell trade. So I'm not sure how many people have owned this TN. It is fairly loved. It has a lot of like creases and wrinkles. The seller I purchased it from says it wasn't rolled and she even showed me the buy sell trade post that she saw say, saying that it wasn't rolled, but it feels like it was. I mean, especially comparing it to the Emma, the Emma is a much smoother leather. And I know that this was one of the first rounds. So this Emma is a lot thinner than the normal Austin line. Right away, I noticed that the MDB6 notebook is a little smaller than I would want it to be within this size notebook. And the Cafe Notes is much wider and perfect, like it fits perfectly inside this TN. Even though the MD notebook is perfectly fine, I just, I don't like as much room. And so the Cafe Notes is definitely one I like, I think I would prefer using in a B6 Slim Chic Sparrow. I mainly purchased this TN so that I can have one in this color, but also have one in this size. And I was definitely missing a TN, even though I really love the folio I purchased from Bob Kuhin. I am really happy to have this like original butter drum. I don't know when it was made. It doesn't have the branding. I'm actually not sure if it is an original butter drum or if it's a different version. If you compare it to the Colonel Brandon I have, it's pretty similar in, in thickness, but it is a little bit more floppier because it is a little bit older. And again, I feel like it's been rolled, but they said it wasn't. So I'm just going to go with that. Next up, I want to share some items I was given by a coworker. She was kind of having a garage sale and she found this cute little kit in her house and decided to gift it to me because she knows how much I love stationery and I was like gladly thank you so much for thinking of me it is super cute comes with a blotter a dip pen and some calligraphy ink I don't know how to do like I don't know how to write calligraphy I've I'm still struggling with brush lettering and stuff but I was super excited to get this little kit and to test it out. I don't know how old it is. I tried looking it up online and I did find a few like eBay sellers selling this exact same little kit, but I didn't really find too much else about it. One thing off the bat is it is a pocket sized dip pen, which I love pocket sized pens. However, with a fountain pen, they usually have a cap that you can post which would make it more comfortable to use. I'm not going to lie, this, although very cute, is a tad bit too short for my hand. And it is just my, it just, my hand started cramping up as soon as I started using it. I don't imagine I would ever use this dip pen or any dip pen for that matter to journal or to write out a letter. I would only use it for swatching new inks, especially if I wasn't going to immediately put it into a pen. It's just a great way to kind of test it out. And this ink blotter, I've never had one and I've been wanting one, so this was really nice to kind of just test out. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, if it's you immediately just put it over the ink or the whatever you've written, but because it kind of smears the ink a little bit, but I don't know. It's still really cute and I'm glad to have it. Another thing I'd like to note is that the nib on this dip pen is just lovely. It's like, I don't think you can tell from this angle, but it's a little bit, like it's pretty long. And then it's so, it flexes so nice. It's just like, it's so easy to, to, to write those nice like flex letters. And of course I'm not, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm still trying to even just learn how to use it properly, but I love how it looks. I'm still using my MD notebook, and since I prefer it in the folio, I won't switch over until I'm done, and then I will put in the Cafe Notes notebook and start journaling in this beautiful butter drum. That's pretty much all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.